Hello, my name is Echo. Before we begin, I would like to point out that I am wearing circle lenses right now. I felt like it made sense for the topic that I'm about to discuss. For anyone who doesn't know, circle lenses are a type of theatrical lens that are meant to make your eyes look bigger and more anime-ish. So if you're wondering why I have black holes for eyes today, that's why. These things are freaking huge. So I probably shouldn't admit to this on camera, but I have had more crushes on cartoon characters than actual people. I'm weird. I can't help it. This isn't really a new thing though, because like any girl with an internet connection and basic cable, I grew up watching a lot of anime and cartoons. And I still do. And of course, when you invest a lot of time into a show, you tend to become emotionally attached to certain characters. Unfortunately, sometimes that emotion is love. And I partially feel like I shouldn't be admitting to this because in our culture, this kind of thing can be viewed as creepy, but whatever, I accept it. Seriously, how do you expect viewers, especially impressionable teenage girls, not to become emotionally invested in some characters? These characters by nature are perfect. When I turn off this camera, I am probably going to go out into the real world and make horrible life decisions, especially regarding food, because I am a real flawed human being. My nail polish is chipped because I am a flawed human being. But not cartoon characters. If a cartoon character has a flaw, it's because the character designer put it there intentionally. One of the best things about having a crush on a cartoon character is that since they don't reside in this plane of existence, they are just as real in your imagination as they are anywhere else in this universe. I'm not lonely, shut up. Some cartoon characters are just the epitome of perfect. And I am not the only one that this happens to. I know that I am not the only one who made original characters and then imagined them in the show interacting with everyone. So if there are other people who just want to deny it to themselves, that's totally fine. But do you really expect anyone to believe that in the entirety of the animation and illustration industry, there has never been even one character that you have been even slightly attracted to? So in conclusion, I would like to say that I don't think there's anything wrong with having crushes on cartoon characters as long as you consciously recognize that they aren't real and you don't let them become an unrealistic standard for human attraction. Fangirl responsibly. So just in case I haven't dug myself into a hole deep enough, I'm now going to go through 10 cartoon characters I have had crushes on throughout my life in no particular order. Number 10, Brock from Pokemon. I don't completely know why. I think it had something to do with the fact that he was a good cook and he was nurturing. It also may have had something to do with the fact that he was not picky when it came to women and I was a teenage girl with self-esteem issues. Two and two together. <laughs> Looking back on it, that's so bad. Number nine, Danny Phantom. It was his hair, it was all his hair. I just really love the fact that he could have black or white hair. And that was just fantastic to me. And I, I don't know, he was roughly my age at the time and I just really liked him. Number eight, Marshall Lee from Adventure Time. Gender swapping has been a huge thing in the fan art community since forever. So when Adventure Time actually started making gender swapped episodes, it kind of blew my mind. I remember when the episode first aired, Instant Crush, Marshall Lee, can't beat that. How do you not fall in love with Marshall Lee, the Vampire King? Number 7, Wilt from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I was 12. Wilt was the single most selfless character that I had ever seen and I really admired that, so I really liked him. Also, his voice actor did a really good job. I aspired to be Frankie so much. Number six, Pumpkin from Bam and Man. I just love the way the character's animated. He moves in such an expressive way that I just fell in love with this character. He's just so, aww. If you haven't seen Bam and Spider Man, I recommend that you watch it. It's all online. All of the episodes are really short. Totally worth your time. Number five, Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon 2. I don't think I need to explain this one. Just stare deeply into his eyes. Number four, Pitch Black from Rise of the Guardians. I've been told that I have a thing for villains, but I can't help it. Villains just seem to wear the most black. Just look at him. Ah. Match made in heaven. Also, Pit Black's voice is just amazing. If you have not seen Rise of the Guardians, please go watch it. It is such a good movie. Number three, L from Death Note. He was just cute and awkward and, I don't know, I find that endearing. In general, he's just an interesting character. Also, the hair. Can't get away from the hair. Number two, Ginkgo from Mushishi. I can make an entire video on anime characters alone, but this one was probably the most recent. I feel like it's partly the hair. I just love the Snow White hair. Also, just the way that he composes himself and the element of mystery around him. It's just a really good character. Personally, I like the first season better than the second, but if you haven't seen Moshishi, I totally recommend it. Ginko is just... Uh, 
And last but not least, Deadpool. I'm so sorry. Deadpool is like the guy that you know you shouldn't like, but you do anyway. He's funny and he's freaking self-aware. To me, self-awareness is the single most attractive feature that any human being can have. And Deadpool is the single most self-aware character in all of existence. He treats the fourth wall like a window. I like Deadpool, I can't help it. That's why I sleep under him at night. I'm a weird human being, if you can relate to that, you should subscribe so that you can see whenever I make new videos. Fun stuff, yeah. I promise I don't always have black holes for eyes. If you have ever had a crush on a cartoon character, please put it in the comment section below so that I don't feel so horribly alone, and hopefully I will see you around. Later! I looked directly into my lights again, and now I'm blind. Birds!